like to swing on a star, carry moonbeams home in a jar, and be better off than you are? Or would you rather be a mule? A mule is an animal with long funny ears. He kicks up at everything he hears. His back is brawny, but his brain is weak. He's just plain stupid with a stubborn streak. But if you don't really like to go to school, you could grow up to be a mule. Or would you like to swing on a star, carry moonbeams home in a jar, and be better off than you are? Or would you rather be a pig? A pig is an animal with dirt on his face. His shoes are a terrible disgrace. He has no manners when he eats his food. He's fat and lazy and extremely rude. But if you don't give a feather or a fig, you might grow up to be a pig. Or would you like to swing on a star, carry moonbeams home in a jar, and be better off than you are? Or would you rather be a fish? A fish won't do anything but Swim in a brook, he can't write his name or read a book. To fool a people is his only thought, and though he's slippery, he still gets caught. But if that sort of life is what you wish, you may grow up to be a fish. A new kind of jumped up slippery fish, and all the monkeys aren't in the zoo. Every day you'll meet quite a few. So you see, it's all up to you. You could be better than you are. You could be swinging on a star. So there you go. And if you don't want to be swinging on the star, well, how about making sweet and sour meatballs? Because that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to bring the camera over closer so you can see what's happening with uh, our ingredients. And let's get to it. Alrighty, today's recipe is a microwave recipe, and you're going to want one pound of ground beef. You're going to want to wash your hands first, of course. So one pound of ground beef, and to that we are going to add a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. A quarter cup of finely chopped onions. Get those worked in there good. This is just kind of a hands-on recipe. I don't know if you, I don't know how well this would work trying to do it in a mix master. I don't think it would work very well at all, to be honest with you. Okay, to that we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're going to add just a pinch of garlic powder. Now we want to get that worked in there too. I'm going to try and get everything nicely mixed together there best you can. You could use a fork to do this, I suppose, if you wanted to. I just find this is just a little easier to do with your hands. Now this recipe also makes good hamburger patties. Looking for uh, homemade hamburger patties? Well, you might want to add a little Worcestershire sauce in that case. Now, you're also, next you're going to want a half cup of milk and one egg. And we're going to mix that together. Get it all blended together.
Now if you find it's a little too runny, you can add a few more breadcrumbs to it. But it should be alright. Now for your uh, hamburger patties, if you're making hamburger, you don't want to you don't want to add the milk and the egg. You just want to take it up to the point of adding the milk and the egg. There we go. Once you've got that all blended together nicely, you want to make about one inch diameter meatballs. Now here's a little trick. We're going to mic microwave these in a shallow dish. And what I do is I put a piece of parchment paper in there with a gap, and I put about three layers of paper towel underneath. And the reason for that is that helps absorb some of the grease when these cook. So you want to make these into, like I say, about one inch diameter meatballs. You don't have to get your micrometer out and measure them to make sure they're exact, but yeah, close enough. You can kind of judge them. Okay, once you've got them laid out there, you're going to cover it with a piece of wax paper and we're going to microwave them for four minutes on high. As you can see, we're going to have a second batch we'll have to do. You're going to want a deep casserole dish and when the meatballs come out of the microwave, we're going to put them in there. And while we're letting those cook, what we're going to do is make our sauce. So for our sauce, you're going to want to take a half a cup of pineapple juice. That'll be from your can of pineapples. You're going to want half a cup of water. We're going to want two tablespoons of soy sauce. And two tablespoons of white vinegar. You could use apple cider vinegar, but I, use, I just use white. Mix that together. Now to that, we're going to add a third of a cup of, sorry, a quarter of a cup of Splenda or white sugar. It's up to you. I'm using Splenda. You all know why by now, I think. My wife is diabetic. But if you're not diabetic and don't have concerns about uh, sugar, then I would suggest using regular sugar. And then you're going to add to that two tablespoons of cornstarch. Now, if you don't have cornstarch, you could use tapioca powder. But uh, I prefer cornstarch. You're just basically using it as a thickening agent. So you want to blend that in as best you can. Now, I've made a mistake, and my mistake is that I should have used a microwavable bowl for this. I don't know what I was thinking, so we are going to switch this into a microwavable bowl. I would suggest using a microwavable bowl to start with. You want to save yourself this one step. And 
and our first batch of meatballs is done. Uh, you can see these are cooked. And what we're going to do now is we're going to transfer these into our deep casserole dish. Got a kitty cat here that likes the smell of these and figures they're probably for him, but uh, isn't he going to be surprised? Alrighty, now what we're going to do is you don't need to clean this up. We can just finish up making the rest of our meatballs. Put them right in there. It's not going to hurt a thing. But you see, by doing that with the, the uh, parchment paper and the paper towel, it saves you having to drain the meatballs because everything stays right there. The grease. You don't want the grease, so that's just as well. And just like the first ones, we'll cover them with the wax paper again and microwave them for four minutes on high. Alrighty, our second bunch of meatballs is done. This piece of wax paper can go in the garbage now. Now, we'll put these in with the other ones. There we go. And this is just uh, garbage. <laughs> Alright. Now we've got that done, we're going to microwave our sauce and give it another good whisking. And we're going to put it in the microwave for two minutes on high. And while that's cooking in the microwave, we're going to put our pineapple chunks on top of our meatballs here. Now, the one thing ingredient that normally I would add, but I'm leaving out for two reasons. One is I don't have one, any and I'm not going to go stand in line at the store for an hour to get one and the other is my wife doesn't really care for them so it saves her having to pick the pieces out but normally the I would for this recipe I would include chopped up green pepper give it a little more color and uh, you would want to microwave that for about clean it and then microwave it for about two to three minutes and then cut it up and put it in and uh, it just adds a little extra flavor and color but it's perfectly good recipe without the pineapple chunks Okay, we've heated our sauce for two minutes on high. We're going to give it a good stir here. And now we're going to heat it again for three minutes on high. So you'll do it actually for a total of five minutes. You could do it two and a half minutes and two and a half minutes, but I just do it two minutes, stir it, and then do it for three minutes. Okay, now as you can see, after the second cooking, this is thickened up nicely. I'm going to give it a real good whisking just to make sure it's all blended together nicely. And then we're going to pour that over our pineapple and meatballs. Now if you have a large glass measuring cup, like a four, four cup measuring cup, that might be the way to, to do this in the microwave, just so you have a handle to hold on to. But this works. And you just want to take a couple of spoons and just kind of just kind of move that around a little bit. Just get all that good sauce mixed over everything. And then we're going to cover it. And we're going to microwave it for another five minutes. Alrighty, our five minutes is pretty much up. More seconds. And here we have our final product. Nice, hot, sweet and sour meatballs. We normally, traditionally serve it over white rice, but uh, that's totally up to you. If you want to serve it over noodles or something else, you could. Or if you just want to grab a knife and fork and dig right in, that's up to you as well but uh, it's best so served over white rice. And you can see where the green pepper would just add that little extra kind of pop to how it looks and a little extra flavor as well.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's recipe and we'll give it a try. It's pretty simple. It's all microwaved and uh, we, we enjoy it. And so That's what we're having for supper tonight. Now, I'm making this in the middle of the day. I'm going to refrigerate this and then we'll just reheat it in the microwave before we eat it. And that actually gives the uh, meatballs a chance to kind of marinate in the sweet and sour sauce and it's just oh that much better. So give it a try. I hope you enjoy it. And remember, you could be better than you are. You could be swinging on the star or making sweet and sour meatballs. That's your choice. Until Friday when we have chapter 5 of Robin Hood. Take care. Stay safe.